Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well today. Uh, if you're in the UK, it's another hot one. We're getting some really good weather at the minute. Um, I'm going to carry on with some Valheim today. And we are ready to do the fight against Yagloth. So let's jump on it. So last time, um, a week ago now, because uh, I do this every Tuesday. Uh, sorry, every Thursday. I don't even know what day of the week it is. <laughs> Um, so last time we cleared a Fooling village, which is right next to Yagluf's spawner. So we should be okay to do it now. We have the Fooling totems on us. We just need to make sure that we have our best food and we are rested. So let's head up here. So we've got one of each in the box that we can use. I want an extra blood pudding though. Thistle blood bag, barley flour. Okay. We've got plenty of barley flour. I think we're short on thistle. No, not the spice rack, thank you. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, we need one more thistle. That's a little bit annoying. Um, but having extra blood puddings would be useful. I fully anticipate that I am going to die um, doing Yagluf. I mean, I'll try not to, but yeah, I have quite a strong feeling. <laughs> so let's just portal through, there we go. Right, let's grab some thistle. So straight away, there's one. Okay, we do have it marked over here, Thistle. So let's go and check that out. So we'll pick that one up. There we go. Nice little cluster of thistle. All right, now we can just dash back, portal through. That's all I wanted while I was here. Don't want anything else. Just quick as we can. Mindful of stamina. There we go. Right, we should be able to make blood pudding now. The things you do for food. Uh, more barley flour, which we have. There we go.
Okay, so we've got a little bit of a surplus going now. Um, so if we die, we can just collect. Well, we can eat and then run. He's back in the rightful places. There we go. Right, two we want to do the locks. Hi. Cloudberry locks meat, barley flour. Do we have all of that? Yeah, we might as well. Okay, so we're going to need them anyway when we go to Mistlands if we can beat Yaglov. Organise that a bit better. There we go. Where's the locks meet? There. That's better. Okay, we got four pies, so we need some wood. The stone oven really burns through wood quite quickly, so I don't keep it stocked. You just lose so much wood if you keep it stocked, so let's use like half that amount. So of course if you put it in, it won't cook without fire. I took more than is needed because uh, we can top up our other cooking fires in half. It makes sense. Come on, cook. There we go. Nice. Okay, we do have some extra there, so... I'm going to take five of each of these with me. Oh, one too many there. So yeah, five of each potions, two of each of foods. We've got arrows. Um, okay. There we go. Right. It's daylight, but what's the better we can sleep? No, nope. okay. Sometimes you can. It's a bit weird. It's always worth checking. Right, our power we've got in the bottom corner. Uh, so we're going to be using bone mass just to try and reduce some of the damage coming at us. Um, yeah. Let's eat the food. Get our health up with the rested and give it a go. So I'll just let my health tick up a little bit before I run over.
one more tick and then we'll go there we go so 189 health it's a nice healthy amount Charge down the hill. I've got the totems on me. Yep, good. Just had a horrible thought that I'd left them, but it's okay. Now, last time we uh, put a load of workbenches inside the village just to make it safe. We don't want any nasties spawning in there and attacking us while we're fighting with Yagluf. There we go. Shall we make the offering? I'm going to put that there actually just so I can quick use it if I need to. Same with that, same with that. Yeah. Where's he going to spawn? Over there. Okay. Right, fire resistance straight away. And I'm using Frostner because it does spirit damage as well. I could not see a thing there. There we go. So we were on fire for a while there. Oops. <laughs> move sideways to kind of dodge that. On fire again. So he cools down uh, meteorites there with that attack. Let's pop a health potion. Run away. There's a lot of running away in this battle. Bone mass. He'll do his laser now with his uh, mouth. Probably. Oh, hello, growths. Where did they come from? Oh, they're going to make that a bit harder then, aren't they? This is not how I wanted this to go. No, stop it. <laughs> oh my god. Right, stamina potion. Kill that growth. There was another one there, okay. Great. Oh. Wow. <laughs> okay, we need to just like run around and just try and replenish some health now, because that was a bit insane. Crash test, thank you very much. How are we doing? We just had a very hairy moment. <laughs> oh, thank you very much for the sub. Well, if I can hold out for five seconds, I can do a healing potion. Yeesh. There we go. So yeah, I didn't anticipate having uh, all of those growths coming in on the attack. That was a bit nasty. run for a bit because he's doing 
falling meteorites. There we go. Now the nasty breath. That helps a bit low. Oh my god, another growth. Come on. <laughs> There we go. Taking so much fire damage. Even with the fire resistance barley wine. I want to try and get the health up a bit. We can just kind of chill here for a bit while we replenish. Alright, where is he? What's he doing over there? Oh my god, health. Yeah, Death Skeeto as well, lovely. <laughs> so I did a healing potion now. And that's why the health's ticking up a bit now. I was trying to kill the Death Skeeto, and I got slapped by that. Right, you can die. He's going to do the breath thing again. There we go. My word. <laughs> so we're on 80 health. We've got Yaglov down to almost half, not quite. I want my health to tick up just a little bit more. Are you. You're going to chase us now, aren't you? Oh my god, there's so many! <laughs> Not just Yaglov, we've now got a Lox after us. 22 health. I just got up to like 80 odd. I'm gonna die here. <laughs> Me too, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to die here. I can't get close enough to do any damage because my health is so low. <laughs> if I follow Spartan Law, I'm definitely dead. Why does the locks want to fight? <laughs> I think we're going to have to deal with this locks. Lovely. Right. Health potion. Let's try and get some health back. He's up there. Is 
you can do breath. Is he just roaring? Up oh, meteorites, lovely. So you can kind of use these stone towers to block them a bit. And that. Okay, we have decent health again. Let's get in there and attack. And run from the meteorites. Oh, and for breath. And then we're getting close and attack again. Oh, stamina. Meteors. So I've never actually done this fight on my own. I've always had a group of like four of us. Come on, Dovskito, I want to get rid of you. Thank you. Alright, fire resistance wine has nearly run out. Oh, and we have some foolings. Lovely. <laughs> Alright, come over here away from my boss. Thank you. Oh, meteorites. Okay, that's M2 dealt with. Good. Right, we need fire resistance again, so we'll do that. Oh my god. <laughs> my health just tanked. There we go. We are dead. <laughs> we got him to half health. So. That was insane. <laughs> it was always going to be on the shield. <laughs> always. I was not doing that first time on my own. So yes, if you're able to, play Valheim with friends. It makes it so much easier. Alright. Eat that food. Run back into our house. And we are going to sleep through the night just to reduce the amount of enemy spawns. Why does it sound like a skeleton's attacking something while we're in our bed? <laughs> Dude, we have no armour or weapon. Go away. <laughs> Just give him some fisticuffs. Alright, let's sit and replenish our health a bit. One more tick. There we go. Right, let's go gather our things from our corpse and carry on fighting. Uh, is that one? Yep, so many portals now. <laughs> Hopefully it's just like Yagloth and no other enemies. 
Yeah, he's still there. He's regenerated a bit of health as well. Lovely. He was waiting for us. Cover our items. Equip everything. Take the uh, fire resistance wine because we're slow walking while equipping. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Gonna do the acid breath, fire breath now. He usually does. There it is. Ground slam, so you just block that. And then deal as much damage as you can. Oh my word, I cannot see a thing. There we go. And I've just spotted my health. Let's run. <laughs> right, healing potion. Yaglov does not like us. We are on full health. <laughs> Jesus. That got a bit low. Right, let's just try and uh, replenish a little bit. Should we should shoot a poison arrow at him as well. Let's do that. <laughs> oh. So I can't do another healing mead for 50 seconds. Oh, you are kidding. That was like no time at all to get some attacks in until he did the meteorites. Yeah, it is a bit of a holy nova, isn't it? <laughs> there we go, do that. Come on, health, keep ticking up. So I'm just trying to get some health here. Meet you, right? Hundred and twenty nine health. Okay, we should have enough now to get in there and just slap him about a bit. What attacks are you gonna do? That one. Okay, that's fine. And he's calling meteorites again. He didn't give us long enough uh, to deal significant damage. Now he'll do his breath. Come on. 
There we go. Oh, one of them got us. Okay. More than one. <laughs> oh, lost so much health there. Uh, that meteorite attack does so much damage. Let's see, ground slam. No, meteorites. Server hand is a ground slam. So the ground slam he raises a different hand to the meteorite. This is the ground slam. And there's the meteorite. He can do his breath now. Yep. So he should ground slam now. Yep. So we take burning and lightning damage there as well. We're getting there. We're getting there. I do not have a single healing potion though, which is a bit rubbish. I can't eat food for health either, because I'm full. So I've just got to kind of kite him a bit until my health replenishes and get in and attack. He's just turned around to meet us here. Yeah, he has. So, what are you going to do? Roar. Okay, and then laser breath. Alright. So, scoot around the back of him. Oh, health. Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> Oh, I wanted to do some damage. That's annoying. Okay. Death number two. <laughs> right. This is why we have surplus food. Because otherwise we're running in with 25 health. What's with all the particle effects? That's only meant to happen at the boss fight. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> right, eat, eat, eat. You know what? I'm gonna take those with us. Uh, we want to be rested, so we shall sit. Right, just let my health go up, and then we'll charge across and get our items, and then carry on fighting. So he's currently rehealing as well because he's not engaged in combat, so if you leave him too long, he will go to full health. And yes, I am assuming that Yaglov is a he.
Right, let's go and get our stuff. There he is, crawling around on the ground. He's got no legs. <laughs> okay, he's not regenerated too much, so that's good. Oh, don't come and meet us. We need to get our corpse. Oh no. Fooling. Good lord. We're not even equipped with our things yet. Meteors. Let's just keep running until they're finished. There we go. Right. And it's changed the order around of all our stuff. Which is very nice of it. What am I missing? Helmet. Where's the helmet? <laughs> Where's my helmet? <laughs> Apparently I don't have a helmet now. Where the hell is my helmet? What? Well, now I'm confused. Bloody Devskitos, honestly. Oh, there's still a tombstone here, so maybe our oh, inventory full, I bet. Let's throw a stone down. That was it. Okay. Where's Yakluf? Up here. Right, I'm gonna do bone mass. a breath. Oh, out of stamina so I can't run. Gonna ground slam? Yep. Go on, do laser. Here it comes. So you got to wait for him to ground slam and that's when you can do all your damage to him. This one. And this is where you take fire resistance, because you stood in fire while attacking him. And all of his attacks are fire. Especially this one. Ooh. That was a bit close. That was our moment there. Uh, oops. Oh, and run.
Why can I hear goblin giggles? Okay, let's do a healing potion. No, that's meteors. More meteors, lovely. Use for rock for cover. Ah, there's a foolings. Oh my word, and a Deathskito. I'm having to keep an eye on his attacks while dealing with these. Lovely. <laughs> I got rid of the Deathskito there at least. So I hold the block there and it negates all the damage of the attack. Oh, we're nearly there. So close. Do a healing need just so we can uh, have a bit more health. Where did those goblins go? I don't know where they are. Okay, let's try and get in closer, see what he does. Meteors. Use for rock for cover. Fire breath. Okay, come on, ground slam, here we go. There we go, we got him. Oh. Thank goodness for that. Okay, so we got a Yagloth trophy and three torn spirits. And I heard that goblin laugh. Oh well. <laughs> so this is Moonin, brother to Hugin. See you later then. <laughs> Alright, let's clear our deaths and go back to our portal. And then we can hang Yagluf's trophy on our altar and use the Torn Spirits to make something. That was good. Two deaths. That's the first time I've done Yagluf on my own. Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> Bloody death skios, honestly. Okay, so first of all, we'll take our Yaglov trophy down to our altar. What do you want? No. Why 
one hit kills on Grey Dwarfs. Nice. We like that. A father of a father noble and proud. He saw through skies of fire. When madness lowered its shroud and warped his heart's desire. That is Yagluf. Oh no it's not. Sorry, Yagluf's over here. That's for the Ashlands. <laughs> so you got Mislands. Ashlands. Okay. That sounds like a description for Yagluf though. Right, what was Yagluf's? Long ages past, he wore a crown beneath a blood-red sky. Now naught is left of all he was, but his spirit cannot die. There we go. So, Yagloth gives resistance to magic damage and lightning damage. Cool. I am still going to keep bone mass for now because it's resistance against physical damage, so it's blunt slash and pierce. However, so yeah, I'll use that for mislands. I might change to Yagluf for Ashlands though, because that's all like a fire domain. So resistance to fire would be quite nicer. Anyway, that's not yet. We're getting ahead of ourselves. So we'll just go back to base. There's a brute there that might try and attack our piggies. Oh, and a shaman as well. Right, now let's go and sleep through the night. Okay, we need to repair all of our armour. And then we need to put lots of things away. Okay, so we want torn spirits in here. And then, what else have we got? Quite a lot of uh, dead things. A couple of trophies. A little bit of coin. Some resin. Okay, I'm going to take... Well, I'm not going to take the Torn Spirits out yet. Oops. I didn't want to drink the potion. Oh well. <laughs> there we go. Right. We can now make a wisp fountain. Okay, so we need ten stone. And one torn spirit. There we go. And we have some locks meat that we can put up here. Put it in this one. And then last thing to put away. And that is more black metal, which we really don't need at this stage. Okay, let's make our lovely little wisp fountain. Where should we put this? Uh, 
I wonder if we convert this old farm into a wisp fountain. Just have it sitting nicely here. Let's do that. Hello, Hoogan. So it wonders what it's going to attract. <laughs> it's not my job to babysit the likes of you into the night. Well, that's basically what you've been doing this whole game so far, so... However, what it says there is a clue. Long into the night. So, wisps demand darkness. They only gather here at night time. I might just open that up. There we go. I'll do that one as well. There we are. Right, let's move our seeds across to our farm. Because we don't need them there. So we can put these all in this box. Get it nicely organised. Why have I still got flax on me? Flax we can put upstairs. Here. There we go. Okay, so essentially we're just waiting for nightfall now. And then we will have wisps gather here. Now we've got three Torn Spirits, it only took one to make that, so we can make a few extras. We may as well. Because you can't use the uh, Torn Spirits for anything else. There we are. Butcher knife we want to keep near the pigs. Yeah, so that's fine, we'll leave that there. We could do with getting some coal, really. Okay, let's do a coal run through the swamp. That'll use up a bit of time. him dealt with. He got stuck in the log. There's always one.
dug this one a little bit too deep because it slows the movement down when I go in that hole. So we'll go up to there and then down to there, do that on that one and then back. Oh, we are stuck on a log. Nice. So 42 coal currently. Now at 58, so yeah, about 16 coal roughly per spawner. So if you can get a couple of them like I've done, it works really nicely. That will fluctuate if you get um, one or two star circling spawn, you'll get a little bit more that they drop. There we go, right, let's head back. Might take this blob. There we go. Okay, we've got a bit of coal. So I'll load that in there. So yeah, we got about 100 coal for doing that. That's pretty nice. Uh, no wisps yet, of course, because it's daylight still.
Well, we've got too many settling cores. Yeah, we can't even reduce that down a bit, so we'll start spilling into a third box. Where is the sun? Just so you can tell what kind of time of day it is. I think it should be setting soon. Restock that. Nice little bonfire just to keep enemies away. Squishy Squiddy, redeeming hydrate. <laughs> Thank you. So we're just waiting for darkness now, and then we should get some wisps. I didn't even know you were here, Squiddy, so good way of making an entrance. <laughs> Hello. I did a uh, massive boss fight when I started this stream at about an hour ago, um, we fought Yagluf and killed him. I died twice. <laughs> so that was good fun. Yagluf dropped Torn Spirit, three of them, and that's allowed us to make Wisp Fountains. So then we can get some Wisps for going to the Mistlands. <laughs> That's how you're going to enter streams from now on, what, just uh, redeeming some of your who me's, your channel points. <laughs> and hey, it works. It's a good way of making an entrance. Come on, almost night time, and then we can get some wisps. Pick names at the minute. So we've got Apple, Butter, Butty. Should we name a few pigs? We'll have a crash test for pig. Oh, and it's too long. We can't do Squishy Squiddy, so we will do Squiddy the Pig. There you go. <laughs> oh, we have a boar there still as well. Should we name this one uh, Jumsy? Oh, we got Steve. I forgot about Steve. 
Steve the pig. Right, we've got two unnamed boars. What do we want to call them? I mean, you've put ye as your last message, so should we call a pig ye? There we go. <laughs> One left. What's she fancy? Pig's actually pushing me. <laughs> bacon. Yes, we can call this pig bacon. It will be the first to die for pushing me like that when we do a cull. So there we are. We have all of our pigs named now. That was not how you jump over a fence. There we go. <laughs> So apparently it's not dark enough yet for the wisps. We need the sun to like fully set. It's just on the horizon there currently. Gemsy isn't at full health, um, but if we feed the pigs, health will replenish and they'll start breeding. And then we'll have lots and lots and lots of piggies. Surely it's dark enough now. Come on. Let's just uh, sit down up here and keep an eye on our wisp fountains and wait for them to arrive. Because as soon as I get one wisp, I'll learn loads of things I can make. funny thing, the contrast of this game, doing the Yaglov boss fight an hour ago and then sitting and waiting for wisps to appear. It can be so chilled out and it can be really hectic. <laughs> Such a mix. Oh, here are the wisps. So we can now create a wisp light. Uh, I think it was a crafting thing at the bench though, wasn't it? Workbench. Have a look. Uh, was it on this one? Yes. So we need silver. We have some silver. Now I'm going to take two because I'm going to make two wisp lights. One stays in the inventory, one stays at home in a box. 
Reason being, if we die and need to go and retrieve our corpse in the Mistlands, you will not be able to see where you're going unless you have a wisp light. So the wisp light pushes back the mists. This one hasn't had any uh, wisps yet, so I'm going to move it. I'm going to just reposition it to there. I think maybe it was too close to that one. So we've got six wisps now. It is worth to still collect them because later on when we've unlocked other materials you can kind of forge them into a sword and you can have a glowing sword that pushes back the mist as well. Um, you can also put them in like torches to push the mist back so it's worth collecting them. There we go and we've got one on this statue now. So they are all positioned nicely. I might keep the wisps in this box. Just because it's next to them. And you can only gather these at night, so... Indy, how's it going? Thank you for joining. So yeah, I'm just going to stay up all night collecting wisps. Because then we should have a good supply of them and not need any for quite a while. So I have one in my inventory if I get it out. You release the bound wisp. But it's kind of attached to this. So it just follows you wherever you run. Kind of dashes forward a bit, so... I'm going to put it away though, because it will confuse me as to which ones I'm gathering. There we go. A rainstorm, oh no. I hope you didn't get too soaked. the other wisp light. Probably in the box with the food. Let's go this one, yeah. I'll do it like that. And for cooked meat, I would want to put it in there, but we can't. Um, it's going to have to go in there, isn't it? There we go. Ah, oh, you got to work early. Were you hoping to uh, avoid the rain? Gotcha. <laughs> Any more wisps before it becomes day? That moon is uh, moving quite fast.
So that moon will eventually set, and that will be the end of night. So we've done most of the night. And we've got 24 wisps, and we used two to make wisp lights, so that's 26 we've gathered in one night. This is pretty good. Stand about here, we can see all three of them, plus the moon. It's like one of the most chilled out nights in Valheim. <laughs> Just running around and catching wisps. There we go, the moon is setting. World save in 30 seconds, because it will be a new day. Get that one, there we go. So that's 31 wisps. And now they won't come anymore, so not until the evening again. If you count the two that we used as well, 33 total. So you get about 11 wisps per statue per night. So it's pretty good. Okay, so let's do a repair. There we go. Now if we have a belt equipped... And... Okay. So you can't have the belt and the wisp light. It's one or the other. Now, we need the wisp light in the Mistlands. There's no two ways about it. You need it. So... We are going to deposit the belt into a chest. Where did I put the head torch? There it is. Okay, so these are kind of our uh, items, if you like. Hey, no worries. Okay, so with Wisp Light, we are now able to go into the Mistlands. And I've just remembered, we have Mistlands either side of our Plains Farm. So let's replenish our food a bit. Uh, do we just take it all? Let's take it all. Yeah, that's it. And we'll sit and get rested and replenish our health.
There we go. Oh, well, you're quite used to uh, hills then. I bet that's fun in the winter when it gets all iced over. <laughs> Hey, mist lands over there. Let's go and explore. I'm going to use the at gear because it's got a good reach on it, so it'll help us to kill some rabbits if we come across them. So you see the wall of mist. If we go into it. The wisp light allows us to actually see. That's not meant to be here. <laughs> And we've got a Seeker Soldier straight away. These are fairly tough. You have to roll to get rid of the ticks. Oh, that's not good. Okay, we'll just get the Seeker Soldier to chase us away from that flying thing, because... Right, we can deal with him out here now, as long as the flying thing doesn't come for us. Oh, oh it did come for us, okay. Wonderful. Don't push us in the water, please. Yeesh. Let's do uh, bone mass and a healing potion. That got rid of the ticks. Wow. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to deal with that. Seek soldier just completely took out a workbench for that. Oh, don't go in the water, we'll unequip our weapon. Our health is doing quite well here. Just because we're blocking a lot with the Seek Soldier. Oh, we took a bit of damage there. <laughs> I spoke too soon. It's a bit of a war of attrition, this. Bloody ticks, honestly. So you have to roll to get them off you. If they stay on you, they deal damage. Okay, we've nearly got the Seeker Soldier down. There we go. We have Carapace and Mandible. Right, now to deal with the Gyal. <laughs> you kind of have to hit me underneath. Oh my god, that does like no damage. Oh, 
was not expecting a Seeker Soldier and a Gal straight away, like, that's a bit unfair. Oh. Well, we know we can uh, survive in the Mistlands at least by doing this, because, wow. <laughs> So yeah, the act gear is really good because of uh, just the sheer amount of reach. You're not going to be swinging and missing when they jump out of the way. You're more likely to actually hit them. So with this guy, uh, I'm getting yellow numbers come up because the underside is weak and soft. I'm just using poison arrows here. Oh, I'm out of stamina. So when he hits, he does like burning damage as well. Come here. <laughs> Take a trophy. Okay. There we go. And we got a bile bag. Alright, we need to rebuild our workbench. Okay, let's carry on into the Mistlands. That was fun. Oh, can we cut this with our black metal axe? Yes. There we go, we got some Yggdrasil wood, and now we can make a black metal pickaxe. So a big feature of the Mistlands is it's a lot of up and down. It's not very flat. But it's like extremes, like cliff faces. What is this? Just regular stone. It just looks nice. <laughs> Ancient root is pulsating with energy. So there's magic in the roots. So let's just mark this. Root. There we go. And we have some mage cap. Oh, a hair. Can we get it? They're very quick at running the hairs. So just gather the mage cap, and if they come near us at all, we've got our weapon out. Okay, so this thing here as well, Ancient Sword, can be useful. It's too hard, but with a black metal pickaxe you can actually um, mine it. So 
I'll just call it sword. And I want to cut down that tree. So this should give us some more Yggdrasil wood, if it stops rolling. Wow. <laughs> there we go. How's our inventory looking? Oh, quite full. Okay. Oh, hello. This is a normal seeker, not a seeker soldier. The soldiers are actually stronger. As you see there. They are useful to kill though, because um, you get carapace. And they can be used for like armor pieces. Right, um, do we want to explore much further into here? We've got a full inventory, so it might not be worth doing. Let's head back, let's see if we can make anything. here. I could hear that thing as well when I was typing and I've spelled it wrong. So these guys are annoying because all of their attacks do a lot of knockback. Oh shit, he's doing a lot of damage actually to us there. I think Bone Mass must have like, just expired. Because we were doing okay before that happened. Okay. So let's spell that correctly. And then here we have Bone. Fight button. Why can I hear like a combat noise? Where is it coming from? A lot of the time a hitbox as well, they're too high up. Aha, Jotun Puffs, let's get those. Sounds like cereal, something you'd have for breakfast. Oh, just missed it. And that one, they're so fast. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so that's a little bit of exploration done there. We have a full inventory of lots of nice new shiny things. So 
So let's go and uh, see if we can make anything. Oops, I did not mean to go through that portal. Oh well. <laughs> Let's just go back through again. There we go. Right. To repair. Is there anything new in here? Not really. Nothing new in here either. Okay, so something we did spot was the black metal pickaxe, which is here. So three Yggdrasil wood, yep we have that, and 25 black metal. Okay. Do we have 25? Yes, we have 25. So let's just swap it in for now. I know we're going to be carrying too much. That is fine. And we'll craft that. There we go. What's it take to upgrade it? Uh, let's see axe. I want the pickaxe. Mainly black metal, which we have a lot of, so... It could be worth doing that. Let's take a stack of 30. See how far we can upgrade it. Oh wow, we need 30 to upgrade further. We don't have enough. Ah, uh, but we do. Take our feather back. Right, let's go and uh, put some of this stuff away. I'm going to put Yggdrasil wood in here with the ancient wood because it's like a special wood. Okay, so. Yeah, we're starting to run out of room here, so let's just make another chest. Where are we at? Furniture. Oh, hitting dead things. Okay, we're going to need a bit of a ladder, aren't we? There we go. Now we should be able to reach. Put it about there. Perfect. Now that one's a trophy. Whereas these are all. Yeah. Oh, 
what was this one? Wild bag that can go in as well. Yeah, there we go. I'm just going to put these in here for now. So they are plantable with farming. Um, however, you can only grow them in the mistlands. So you can't grow them just anywhere. Just get a few more wisps, because why not? Alright, let's keep loading up with black metal. Okay, we've got the 30, but we put the Yggdrasil roots away. So let's go and grab like 10 of them. That should cover us. Right, not 10, we'll take 6. We're going to be using the pickaxe quite a lot, so that's why I'll not upgrade it. And you can even take it up to level 4, but you need 45 black metal to do that, which is quite excessive. I mean, we could, we've got enough. I'll smelt it all, but yeah, I don't know about using it. Right, let's do a sleep so that can just churn through. You wake with a war cry on your lips. <laughs> Okay, is there anything new that we can build? Tell you what, let's reload the blast furnace before we look at this. There we go. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. There we go. We'll just let that keep churning away. Um, let's put our Yggdrasil uh, wood there for when we need it. And let's re eat our food, sit and get rested, and go back. Let's explore a bit more. I don't need that on me though, the iron pickaxe. So I can drop that off in a chest. Oh, I can't put it in there. Um, right, I'll put it in there. And let's go back to the Mistlands. I'm going 
going to go for the same one. Reason being, we know now that there is bone there. And we have a black metal pickaxe now, so we can actually mine it. So let's see if we can learn anything new to make. Here it is. Petrified bone. Well, sometimes there's a skull. Is it rolled down the hill, maybe? Oh, seeker. Yeah, they hit hard. Try and get the stagger on them if you can. Makes it a lot easier. Okay, so there's another route here. Just want to make sure I am safe before I start tagging. Yep, I think I am. So we'll mark that route. is here. And then this goes down into the plains. Okay. That's a hair that I could hear. Okay, so we've got some armour here. I can hear something shuffling about. Where is it? There it is. Oh, a one star. Okay, let's run a bit. Pop bone mass. Just needed space to do that. I've got the stagger, but it's kind of staggered me as well. There we go. Nice. Okay, let's head back to the bone. We'll see if there's a skull at the other end. No, not on this one. Okay. What can I hear walking around? how many hits that takes. But uh, we have black marble. And lots of new build pieces. Oh, there it is. It's at the entrance, I can't get in. What was that sound? Oh! 
Oh, it's another soldier. Soldiers are a lot tougher than the regular Seekers. You just have to be really good at parrying to fight these. And I'm almost out of stamina. So we'll just kind of recharge a little. And there's another seeker that's joined us. Okay, there we go. Surprised at how well we're actually uh, coping here, to be honest. There's two soldiers down. I'll oh, just try and. Uh, Cover up as much black marble as I can. So we've got a fair bit of inventory space. And this is why I wanted to upgrade the pickaxe as much as possible. You spend a lot of time mining this stuff. Can I carry weight? Because we don't have a belt. Okay, and that's 
head back then. Oh, there's a carapace there. Uh, kind of want that. Might as well pick that up now we've got rid of the stone. There we go. Something killed a little rabbit. Yes, thank you, Devskito. You're still really annoying. Portal back with all of our goodies. And what I will be doing eventually is I will expand this farmland into one of the mistlands. So then we can grow the mistlands, sort of vegetables if you like. It's right next to our normal farm. Okay, technically we can take the Seeker meat out of here as well. The marble I am going to put in stone. Let's take our tar, put it in there. Put our marble in that one. This needs refilling. Uh, put that in there, gather some more wisps because we're here, so why not? Uh, the reason I took out the uh, seeker meat is because it's actually a food source. Uh, where are we at there? So if I do that... So we actually unlocked something before. Um, interesting, we can make straw out of flax and barley. I've not seen that before. going to do. That was it. Um, so our cooking pot upgrades. We can now add a mortar and pestle. And that unlocks new food recipes. So let's do that. So what we on six fine wood. Four core wood and eight black marble. Mm. 
There we go. So it needs to be close enough to the cooking pot. So yeah, we could put it there. That kind of works. Called on level five, so we can do stuffed mushrooms, meat platters, salads. And a mist hair supreme. So the meat platter is seeker meat, lox meat, and hair meat. We might actually be able to do that. Um, yeah, <laughs> we can do that. I should make like four of them. There we go. So we can go in the oven. Uh, the oven's not running yet because we haven't put any food in, in food. We haven't put any wood in the bottom. Right, what's the other things that we could make? Let's have a look at them. Stuffed mushrooms. So mage cap, turnip, and blood clot. And then the other one was mist hair supreme. So hair meat, yotam puffs, and carrots. Okay, we have the carrots and the hair meat. Let's go and get the yotam puffs. I'm just going to take like half of each of them for cooking with now and I'll return any surplus back because we want to keep some so we can plant them. And once again I'll only make like four of these if I can. That's oh, just going to be two actually because of the open puff requirement. Alright, the mushroom. We need turnips and blood clots. Okay. We have turnips. Now for the blood clot. And we'll get some wood while we're here. For the cooking stove. Let's take like six of those. Oh, we can only make one. That's fine, though. So... Yeah. There we go. They're all going to go back in the chests. These are going to go in the oven. Let's take these back now. And then we'll just sit and cook. Because we can reload for black metal on the way. So yeah, suddenly we've got um, a lot of things to do at base again. Which is quite nice. Nearly out of coal again, but that's okay. <laughs> Squishy squiddy, thank you. Welcome back. <laughs> uh, I'm about to cook you a meal. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Mm. 
Born ready, fantastic. So, we have uncooked stuffed mushrooms and uncooked mist hair supremes. And we are currently cooking some meat platters. So you got a choice of three foods there. And the uncooked ones I will cook from. <laughs> Uh, indeed, you're still with us. Fantastic. I thought you might have uh, started work. Mushrooms. You want the mushrooms? Okay. So, the meat platter gives us 80 health and 26 stamina. Previously, the most health we got from a food was 75 from the lox meat pie. So straight away we're into good food here. It's even called battle fuel. Come on, stone oven. Just waiting for these items to cook. There we go. So the Mist Her Supreme gives us 85 food. So even more than the meat platter. And 28 stamina, so two more. Um, and the stuffed mushrooms, bursting with magical flavour, give us 25 health and 12 stamina. Not very much, but they give us 75 Eiter, which is the magic resource in this game, which we have not had access to until making that item. So you always have like zero mana or Eiter, and then the food gives it to you. So we've just unlocked magic. <laughs> Speaking of. <laughs> How rude. We were cooking. And the other one that we could make is salad. So this just gives us a lot of stamina. Um, we don't have to cook it either. So it's onions, cloudberries, and three Jotun puffs. I'm going to put the good food in here for now and use up what we've got left. So, yeah, are you happy with your mushrooms? Let's go and sleep. There we go. Got an itch. <laughs> so we are on day number one hundred and seventy six. So I'll just let my health tick up, and then we'll go back to the Mist Lands again. There we go. I'll just chuck those out, we don't need them.
Oh, okie doke. Uh, so we've explored that one a bit. Let's come down to this one now. Let's see what's down here. I can see some items at the edge, so something's been killing something. It's a rabbit that died, okay. What killed a rabbit up this hill? I heard that before I saw it. Oh my god, two of them. <laughs> it was probably the Death Skeetos, to be fair. What is that noise? Interesting, something down here has killed a Dusquito. Or was that us? Maybe the needle fell down the hill. Might have been us. Is it there? Just annoying. So that's quite a small mist lancer. So we're going to carry on down here to the next one because that's hardly even on the map there, which makes it a perfect candidate actually for a farm. So let's put that in. Oh, that's not a spell, right? Uh, goodbye, indeed. I hope you have a good shift, and thanks for joining. Let's go into this mistlands. See what we can find here. Okay, so straight away we have a root. Let's head down this hill. And then up here. Let's see what we can find. Hmm. Not a lot. Okay, let's go up this hill.
Okay, there's another route. So far, the other side had more to explore. Let's see if that continues to be the case. Okay, we've got some mage cap. You can just eat these raw as they are as well. Like so. There we go, so with Ita you'll be able to cast all sorts of powerful spells. Uh, try to find more Ita infused ingredients to increase your ability. Okay, we've got another route here. So let's just mark that. Eventually we will be able to get sap out of these roots, but to do that we need a specific extraction device, which we do not have yet. of hairs. I knew that was going to be a cliff face. <laughs> Let's just have a look at the map. Okay, so we've gone a fair way around. Okay, and then this goes up into the mountain. Right. Uh, we'll get some Jotun puffs. happens if we just kind of slide down to the bottom. Just explore around. I'm gonna go this way really. Okay, we found some armor. Oh, and a cow. <laughs> Wonderful. Shooting his underbelly because it's soft. I should do bone mass. I'm taking a bit of damage for that. Quite a lot of damage actually. <laughs> yeah, I need to dodge those a bit better.
bows only went up to 15. We've not used bows much. That's probably why I'm not doing that much damage. Oh, my health is so low. That is not good. I really need to dodge these attacks better. No, nope, we're on fire again. Okay. I think this might kill us. Yeah, there we go. Ah. <laughs> oh. That is rather annoying, but oh well. <laughs> Now what I might do here is actually up the difficulty for myself for next time. So what I'm going to do I'm going to equip the wisp light and we're going to take one each of these foods, the good foods. There's no point taking the stuffed mushroom actually, so... Because we're not using IT yet, we're not using magic. We want that for later. So we'll take sausages. Um, so we'll take those with us. And we'll just sit here. So that next time that I play, I've got to eat the food, and then corpse run. That's the first thing that I do. So yeah. I'm going to stop today's stream there. Um, been going for two and a half hours. It is hot as hell in here. Because <laughs> it's really hot at the minute, and the added heat from the PC doesn't help. Um, I will not be doing next Thursday, because I'm going to a festival. Um, so yeah, in two weeks' time. First thing I have to do is a corpse run. So that'll be great fun. <laughs> um, thank you for the redeems, Squiddy, with the hydrates. Um, thank you to Crash Test for the sub. And cheers, Andy, for coming along. So yeah, thank you to everyone. And I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.